Welcome, FNUSA57 here. I am back on Call of Duty Black Ops 4, and today this video will be a achievement guide slash walkthrough for four, technically five, separate achievements. I will be covering the achievement MP101, complete all 10 specialist tutorials. At the time of recording, this achievement is currently bugged, but hopefully they will fix it soon since the game's only been out for two days. The Stargazer achievement for earn a star with each specialist. The Centennial achievement for acquire 100% of the stars. The Skirmisher achievement for winning one skirmish with each specialist, all 10 total. And the Sleuth achievement. Each achievement is a 15 gamer score achievement. Um, they're all currently, because the game has just dropped, diamond achievements, and all of them are in the same category. So I will show you the beginning parts, and right away we are going to get the Stargazer, once they fix it, the MP101, and the Skirmisher achievement. And then at the end of the video, we'll get the Centennial and the Sleuth achievements. But I'm going to cover this so you can get them all done in one playthrough if you are a achievement hunter like myself. So, all of these focus around the Specialist HQ. Now, spoiler alert... This is where you're going to get your story for your specialist, so you might want to wait before watching the rest of the video, but that is entirely up to you. Now, you want to click on the specialist option, and you will see that I have done some of the preliminary work already. You are going to see Ajax, Battery, Crash, Firebreak, Nomad, Prophet, Recon, Rune, Seraph, and Torque. Those are your 10 specialists for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Now, there are multiple stars underneath those specialists, bronze, silver, and gold. And when you click on a specialist, you will see that it has three boxes underneath the dossier progress, the complete onboarding mission, view the backstory, and win a skirmish. So, in order to get one of each star and complete the one of each skirmish as well as the MP101 achievement, you basically just need to get the bronze star for each one of the specialists. That's actually super easy. Now, it's not so easy to do the 100% the stars, the centennial achievement, or the sleuth achievement. They are relatively easy, they're just going to take a little bit of time. The Centennial Achievement requires you to get all three stars, and what that means is once you have completed the Specialist the first time and obtained the Bronze Star, you must come back to this screen, highlight the Specialist again, and then click Replay Skirmish. It will automatically go to the next difficulty, and you have to do that a total of twice so three skirmish runs for each specialist and you must win the skirmish now if you come back to this screen this is going to be for the sleuth achievement open up the menu and you will see the progress for all of your challenges you are going to have the black hole um panama suspect and whatever this uh, one is, I don't know how to pronounce that off the top of my head. These are related to the stars, and if you've been following my guide, by the time you do the last specialist and get the last star, you will have 100% of these challenges completed, thereby having all the dialogue. Uh, you need to get 15 consecutive kills in one round without dying. That's quite easy considering the bots on the lowest difficulty pretty much stare off into space and don't do anything. Get 10 kills with each of the primary weapon classes. I will show you how to change that in a minute, but that's easy as well. The 25 melee kills, 50 secondary weapon kills, 100 headshots, 50 kills using score streaks, uh, be top on the scoreboard 25 times, get 100 kills using specialist weapons and equipment, and get 150 kills on veteran. All of these you should pretty much have done if you know that the challenges exist by the time you finish up the last specialist. So what we are going to do is switch to the last specialist and then go ahead and show you the next two achievements that will unlock. 
and uh, I'm going to show you what you actually have to go through. So once you highlight the next specialist, you're going to hit continue and that's going to take you into the actual mode. Now it is going to give you a short video explaining your specialist's equipment. There is a specific one for each of the specialists. I would recommend that any player, in addition for going to get the achievements, also do this just so that you learn the different specialists, because some of them were not in the previous Black Ops games. Now this is also really cool because you're going to get the backstory. You're going to get two backstory cutscenes. You make real estate easy for your boys and a nightmare for the opposition. So I'm going to go through this and show you. We're going to unlock two achievements pretty quickly. And you have to do this for each one of the specialists. Not there at the marker. Ah, this guy. He's my new favorite meal. Shredded dipshit. Take him out. And don't forget, he's going to need a new diaper. Since WW1, that has been a shitty way to go. Now, good things come to those who wait. Like now remember, this is going to take a little bit of a minute, so feel free to skip ahead until I'm in the skirmish. Teach him not to run in the house. You only have to do this once, by the way. You have to do the tutorial once for each specialist, but after that, you're good. They can't see or avoid. Now sit back, Lenny's gone fishing. Gonna catch myself some dummy fish. Ha! Shoot that stuck up bastard. Hey, they're like sitting ducks. Whack him in the head. Unfortunately, the challenges you can't really work on while you're in this tutorial. You can only work on the challenges in the actual skirmish. I should also mention that this is solo play and you cannot have anyone else with you. Set a trap with your happy wire. You are a goddamn natural at snagging shit. Now get some target practice. Smoke them like a cheap cigar. So maybe you're in a tough spot, man, but it's not hopeless. You have barricade to cover your ass. And not only does it offer self-preservation, but it's got a radiation field that works like a human snowplow. Let's go, Red. Barricade up. Got shit to do. I said the marker. Set it up at the marker. Microwaved bogeys. Just how we like them. Impaired and sluggish. <laughs> he had the car keys. Now they're all stuck. Use the barricade for cover, man. Clean this shit up. All of the tutorials are extremely easy, by the way. The skirmishes, they're pretty easy, but uh, on veteran, they can be a little bit annoying. You should be fine, though. Just drop some wire on us. That shit ain't magic, man. You can take it out with your gun. But I got a better idea. Let's use an R. Okay, nice piece of real estate, right? We like it. Let's keep it. Use what you learn for the down payment. Look, it's a shit neighborhood over there. Backside coverage is good. Hey, turn around. Now some genius is gonna think it's a good idea to bum rush the path, right? <laughs> so let's razor the shit out of it. I said, place it at the marker. Man, the property value just doubled. Sweet. The enemy wants to destroy your equipment. You should not let them. So, listen to Frank. Watch your Frank. <laughs> you see that? Very bad men are trying to kill your very good wife. Great, now you're perfectly sharp, man.
Damn straight. You stopped him. Now, once you complete the basic uh, tutorial, you're going to actually get a cutscene. You're going to get two cutscenes for each specialist. I'm not going to spoil it and show you each one of the cutscenes. The only ones that you'll see are the ones here for Torque, just so that I don't uh, ruin it for everybody. But once you get the Sleuth achievement, you'll be able to listen to all of the audio logs and everything like that later. So keep that in mind. Nice, perfect spot for a razor wire. Here I thought you had shit for brains. My bad. Charlie hates happy wire. He's gonna take it out. Also, all of your abilities will recharge super quick in the tutorial, much, much faster than what they actually recharge in multiplayer, so keep that in mind. It should be insanely easy for you to complete this. Zero time. You need a strike team. You earn one with a score streak. Hit the score limit without dying. It's yours. You die. Score resets back to zero, and you try again. Go! Enemy attack on the barricade. You know and you'll know that you're at the end, or almost at the end, of the tutorial when it tells you to get a score streak. Once it tells you to get a score streak, regardless of which specialist you're trying to complete the tutorial for, that'll be the end. Like I said, the bots are quite bad. Strike team earned. Help is inbound on your call. Enemy attack on the barricade. You know what? You just got the barricade. Yeah, baby, look up there. All we need now is that song by Wagner. Yeah, man, you, you make that happen. My fucking hero. Some of the tutorials can be a little bit buggy because they don't tell you what you need to actually send the troops to, like this one. Just bear with it. Uh, I would estimate it takes about a half an hour to earn all three stars per specialist. Some specialists take a little bit longer than others. Just some good information. Now this is the cutscene that you're going to get for Torque. But like I said, you're going to get two cutscenes specific to each specialist. You're going to get a background one, and then you're going to get another one after you actually finish the whole skirmish, as they say. Those cutscenes are skippable. The upcoming one for this game mode because it's also a tutorial for the basic multiplayer game modes. Those you cannot skip though. So as soon as we finish this, we're going to now unlock, if it wasn't bugged, the MP101 achievement, the Skirmisher achievement, and the Stargazer achievement. So those are your three achievements that you would normally unlock once they fix the MP101. So very important thing for you to note, while you're in the match, you can actually pause the game and you can switch. You can switch your classes. 
you need to get for one of the challenges for Sleuth, 10 kills with each of the class's primary weapon. So that's the Cordite SMG, the KN-57 Assault Rifle, the uh, Titan LMG, the Swordfish Marksman Rifle, and the Koshira, or Koshira, whatever the heck that sniper rifle is. The last class, the Hunter class, you do not have to actually get the 10 kills with the primary weapon on that one. Uh, so I would recommend picking whatever you like, but uh, I use the mercenary class. Also, for secondary weapons, I would recommend using the Hunter for the MOG-12, because uh, that's a really easy one to get the secondary weapon kills with. But uh, for just general gameplay, I use the mercenary class. Now it's going to make you play through a multiplayer match. This is a match versus bots with bot teammates. So it should be pretty easy for you to get everything that you need to do done. Because these bots, yeah, they're, they're not really that good. They can kill you, as you see there. Like, they will shoot you, they will kill you, but in terms of bots versus, like, the difficulty of real players, the bots are pretty darn pathetic. Okay. On veteran, they'll give you a bit of a run for your money, but on all the other difficulties, no. They're, they're super easy. You can also pick up the weapons from the enemies or teammates that die. And if you pick up a weapon that is the primary weapon for one of the classes, any kills that you get with it will count towards the progress for those challenges. Like I said, by the time you are done with the final specialist or on to the final specialist, if you have been following my guide and you knew about the challenges, you should be done with all of the challenges minus maybe one or two specific type of kills that you just didn't have. If you do need to go back and farm any specific challenge, the easiest specialist to do most of the challenges with is Firebreak. Firebreak puts you into a hard point match. He's also really easy to get specialist weapon or uh, equipment kills with. That radiator core and then the purifier do insanely high damage so that makes it super easy score streaks you're gonna get the uav you're gonna get the hellfire and you're gonna get the attack chopper once again using those score streaks with fire break in the hard point skirmish you should have absolutely no problem completing any few remaining kills that you might need for specific challenges and basically just play out the match as fast as possible that's all you're looking for depending on how quickly you do it how fast you are at getting the kills and everything like I mentioned earlier approximately 30 minutes per specialist to get all three stars uh, the one that gave me the most trouble was the search and destroy one on veteran. The search and destroy one on veteran, the AI kept taking the bomb kit, and yeah, it, it didn't go so well. Like I said, these bots are easy. You'll find them just kind of staring off into space or blind firing at you. So it should be extremely easy for you to get everything that you need uh, team deathmatch is one of the ones that takes a little bit to get especially on torque torque is probably one of the worst because of the map but it's quite simple follows the same logic uh, you can run out the timer if you want for a win, 
you can also just run out the score counter as well. Now, since this is the first time I'm playing this specialist for the Bronze Star, it will be the shortest uh, and the lowest difficulty. Now, it's kind of weird, but the lower the difficulty, the longer the round takes. And that's simply due to the fact that the bots are really trash. <laughs> um, they don't get kills very often. As you can see there, that guy would have, on a higher difficulty, been dead by the, the other bots almost instantly. So I would recommend splitting this up over multiple days or simply playing when you have time. This way you can make sure you learn all the little tricks for each specialist, get the achievements for it, and on top of that, you can get a pretty cool backstory for each of the specialists. That was the main thing in addition to the gamer score that I was after. But like I said, those uh, bots are pretty easy. So that's literally all we're gonna do. We're gonna run this one out and then two achievements, technically three achievements would be ours. MP101, as soon as they fix it, will unlock at that point or should unlock at that point for you. Stargazer for earning a star with each specialist will unlock. And last but not least, Skirmisher will unlock for completing a skirmish with each specialist. It's only Sleuth and Centennial that you'll have to have all of the stars for. We're almost there. Close this out. Shut them down. Way out in place. But yeah, like your bots will just stand there and do nothing, which is why it takes the longest to complete the easiest difficulty. UAV available for tasking. UAV established. Simply because the bots basically don't do anything at all. On veteran, the bots will actually kill each other pretty quickly. And depending on the game mode, they can be quite a threat to you since they like to use that Paladin sniper rifle, which is a one hit kill. So do keep that in mind. And uh, sometimes they pull off some pretty amazing feats like hitting you in the face with a throwing axe. I can't say I've actually had them do that before. That's a first. Think twice before trying that again. And there you go. So it's going to do your normal little kill clip like it would in multiplayer for like whoever had the biggest kill streak combo thing. And then it's going to give you a second cutscene and your achievements. There's Stargazer earn a star of each specialist a pawn in someone else's game there is the skirmisher achievement win one skirmish with each specialist and normally there would also be the mp101 achievement assuming that that achievement gets fixed Now, I will go back later and uh, rewatch all of the cutscenes and the audio clips and everything in their proper order so that I actually know what the story is because 
I have no idea. They give you them kind of out of order. They've been manipulating you, watching you, exploiting you. And when they get what they want, they'll leave you for dead. Lucy, this is Tani. Jessica, you... how? Alone, you can put up a fight. But together, you can start a war. And there's all the ten specialists. So pretty cool. I want to put all those cutscenes together, but we are not done. We still have two more achievements to go. Now, through the magic of editing, I am going to replay the match twice, and then I will be able to show you unlocking those achievements. Uh, right now, it is only the second day the game is available. So there is a bit of a crashing issue in this mode. If it does crash on you, there's not a whole lot that you can do about it. But I will see you guys in a few seconds. Good effect. So we are back. That is the centennial achievement for acquire 100% of the stars. There is the sleuth achievement for unlocking all Intel videos and audio files. So I just sped up the uh, replay of both extra skirmishes for Torque. The game did crash on me twice. The first one you've seen and then once doing the silver playthrough. As I warned you, it can crash. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and guide. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it and share the video with your friends as that greatly helps out with the searchability of videos here on YouTube. And uh, it actually crashed again. So it crashed all three times for torque um that's the first time i've run into that it could be a bug and that could be the problem associated with the mp 101 achievement but nevertheless i will go ahead and show you we have four new achievements as i said you would get the sleuth achievement you would get the centennial achievement you would get the skirmisher achievement and you would get the stargazer achievement once they fix the bug with the MP101 achievement, you will also acquire that achievement. Uh, they will probably make it so that anyone who did this already will just automatically get the achievement. But if not, you might have to replay a skirmish with each one of the specialists. Until next time, stay frosty.